we're going to use today. So, a box. We use the Sitka Post. Hey everyone, it's Arkansas Ray, and uh, today I've got to replace uh, some mailboxes. So you saw the mailbox that was in the water, that happened from a storm. And so this is where the mailboxes were supposed to be. And there's been a couple of things that have happened. We had some snow over the winter, and um, when the plow trucks came through, apparently they... Uh, pushed up a, a large berm of snow that had actually kind of knocked these over a little bit. And then combined with, if you look around me, there is practically, you can probably hear the wind now, it's really a mild day, but there's practically no wind breaks in this area. Uh, these in, in, in Osceola, Arkansas is where I'm at now. And this is uh, some wide open area that uh, the wind always blows over here. And, as the day progresses it always the wind always blows stronger so uh today we're going to we're going to work on the mailbox i've got I've got that stuff that you mix together from uh, home depot put it in the post you know that foam that expands uh it's made just for post holes and we'll set in a new post and uh get things going today all right well we'll talk about some of the stuff we're going to use today so i bought the uh the seca post fix uh, from Home Depot and used this last year and it worked rather well. I didn't have any issues with it uh, and it was it was really fast to use. So I'm going to try that again today. Of course, need some scissors to open that up with. Uh, may need my blood pressure medicine also because I've noticed that uh, you only have 15 seconds to mix it, and so for that reason, it can uh, it can get your blood pressure up. <laughs> Uh, you, got, you got 15 seconds to mix it and pour it in that hole. Uh, it recommends that you wear some gloves. So we've got some gloves here, of course. I uh, also have some of the uh, just mechanics type gloves the, uh, because I have old man hands. And with my old man hands, I have to be very, very careful. So, yeah. I uh, also bought uh, some of these plastic uh, mailbox mounting boards. That way, uh, there's a variety of mounting options on here, and so I thought it would just work great. Uh, and that way I didn't have to mess with cutting the board. Uh, don't have augers, uh, or an auger, I have post hole diggers. So I'm gonna use that. And I bought the good old fashioned uh, metal, just the cheapest metal mailboxes they have. And then of course we have a good old fashioned uh, treated wood post. So that's what we're going to use today. So we'll head on over and get started and see what we can make happen today. That, uh, that's really sticking to the post hole diggers. Kind of a clay, a little bit of a clay, sandy mix, but I guess just with it being so wet right now, it just really wants to stick. And I have heard where people have used uh, WD-40 and different things to put on your uh, diggers before you start doing the digging. And supposedly that helps keep the mud and things from sticking. And to be honest, I didn't even think about trying that uh, before, before I came out here and started working. So, man, look at that. Look at that. It's just, <clears throat> that stuff. It's, it's uh it's like it's, it's like clay it's like modeling clay it's uh really really sticky so as you can see i'm still having a problem with this mud sticking really bad to the uh post hole diggers and it's not that it's real wet it's i mean it's just the right i guess consistency and clay mixture in it that it's uh it's sticking pretty bad but I will tell you this, I have learned over the years that I know a lot of things, but I don't know everything. And so, if you would, comment below and tell me what you use to keep uh, mud and things from sticking to your post hole diggers when you use those. You can see mine are rusty. Uh, 
because I'm sure a lot of you have some uh, some awesome tips and ideas on how to do that better. I will I will readily admit I am not an expert post hole digger. All right, we're gonna get our gloves on, pull our sleeves back a little bit, because this could uh, very well get messy on us. It's been a while since I've used this. Uh, like I said, I just, I remember last time it was nerve wracking because, so you've got to go, you've got to, this to there mix it for 15 seconds no more than 15 seconds and then pour it in and it's supposed to set uh it's supposed to set up in about three minutes now it does say that it works better when it's warmer weather so it is a little bit cool out today i think right now we're kind of in the 50s we'll roll it <clears throat> we'll roll the bag and then we'll we'll mix it Back and forth, we'll, we'll make we'll mix it up real well, and then the urgent thing will be to uh, to get up there and pour it in. So let's get these scissors here and just waiting on us. I'm telling you, it's ner <laughs> it is nerve wracking. Fifteen seconds. All right. Here we go. Let's uh, see what happens here. And oh, there it goes. So yeah, now we gotta mix this up. So now it's time to pour it in. <laughs> See, we're, we are now officially past the 15 seconds. That's where it gets really scary. But let's see what we can do. Let's make this happen. And you know, you would think when you look at this stuff, you're like, okay, there's, that's, just a, that's just a gooey mess. There's no way that is gonna do anything, but it does. Oh, trust me, it does. So I'm just trying to squeeze out as much as of, of this as I can. It's already expanding as you can see. And so I'm gonna toss that to the side and I'm gonna get this because it is going to set up in a hurry. So let's get this uh, up here where I can see a little bit better. And we'll have to keep adjusting it as we go. said it'll seem like it's doing nothing and then it'll set up faster than you can ever think of so just so you can see what the foam is doing here it is without a doubt it's expanding quickly today last time i did this i literally had i don't know how i did it but i had that foam stuff <laughs> all on my arms on my clothes uh on my watch at the time i think i obviously got uh sloppy with it and didn't realize i did but i did so we're gonna take this uh, 
yeah you can tell i didn't get it quite get it all out and that would have actually the amount that's in this bag would have ended up filling that spot in that i was concerned about so yeah i made uh, made a few little errors on that so it's important to make sure you get all of the product out of the bag uh, or you'll be wasting some and may have to deal with stuff like i'm having to deal with and uh yeah just the mere act of <laughs> so just the mere act of cutting the bag has made these scissors sticky from the uh from the mixture inside there so that's something to think about as well too not enough to really cause any issues it's just going to be a little sticky for a while until that wears off a little bit it'll be good right, we'll just get the stuff kind of here and and waiting and we'll come back to it at some point <clears throat> this stuff pretty solid I don't think there's any spot in there it's soft so uh, we'll be getting this covered back up and then we'll put our mailboxes on all right, so that'll do it. That is, uh, so we just had uh, the, the Sitka or Sitka. I don't know which one you call it. It's from Home Depot. It's the post hole fix. Uh, it is just a awesome product in my book. We just poured that in. It's set up really fast. Um, covered back up with some dirt. Post is pretty firm. Matter of fact, the only thing I see loose on this is the, uh, <laughs> the post itself. Um, and then I might have to come back through and tighten that up a little bit. And then uh, just the cheap, cheap little mailbox. Just a regular steel mailbox and a plastic board uh, to, to mount it to. And we are good to go. And yes, if you're wondering, I, I purposely left a gap. I didn't mean to leave that much of a gap, but I did, I did want to leave a little bit of a gap. So if this wood expands, I just didn't want it to, to push on this post. But, but there you have it. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out all some of the other videos on my channel. It's uh, greatly appreciated. From uh, Osceola in Arkansas, I'm Arkansas Ray. Have a good one.